had like this this special that came out on TV, and it was called Banging the Little Rock. <laughs> Banging the Little Rock. Cause like, and it was like shocking to everybody, cause they didn't know that you guys had gangs out there. Whoever made Banging the Little Rock, they like they they represented us wrong, man. You, you said they meant represented you wrong. Like, can you kind of expand on that a little bit? I mean, look, they had uh, white in their gang bang we ain't never seen it in the goddamn streets ever in our life they had them uh representing I, I guess they were folks in there and um i know the crips in there i'm uh i know the i know the bloods that was in there you know what i'm saying so them niggas was real but you know just some parts you know now what i'm saying is the beginning of uh gang banging in little rock were them when there was the, the white folks that was in there Hell no, they ain't no business being in that goddamn, representing our goddamn state like that. Shit, hell no. The words that could have made banging in Little Rock. You, you left a stain on our city. Y'all don't experience shit like this. Y'all homies, y'all kick it with every day y'all sitting in the house. And y'all homies just get smoked and his brains just laying on the couch. You know what I'm saying? Y'all in there shooting dice, playing cards and shit. Your homie get smoked. What y'all wanna do, you know? We gonna go back and get the person who smoked our homie, you know what I'm saying? Two, it's gonna be some motherfuckers die. It's gonna be some motherfuckers get scared and get out of it. But it, in this motherfucker, with the motherfucking Crips, ain't nobody getting out. Ain't nobody getting out. Can't nobody get it's out once you, once you in. Once you in, the only way you getting out is if you die out. If you can't, Dude's if you don't die real. out, you not out. Dude's trade you can't, for life. You, Cause most of the most of the uh, ball, Crips yeah. and shit, they get in a, in a set. They, they, get they, they get they set branded on them, you know for what I'm life, saying? For like life, you know what I'm saying? Um, they can't good. get out, they gotta die out. Wall Street Crip, 23rd. When did, you do, when did you do that? About two hours ago. And how does it feel? It feels straight, Chris. I don't say that, Karen, I did. It don't hurt. It don't hurt, you know, you drink, you drink a 40, you know, you straight, you buzz and shit, you straight. You could have said that 40 said smoke a 20 shot. And why did, you, why did you put that there? Cuz, I'm down for mine. This motherfucking family, Wood Street, 23rd. I'm down for mine. Wood Street Crip, 23rd, for life. Hi, right, more than more, this your homie Tori. What's up, family? I just wanted to check in and give my two cents worth on um, whatever her name is, Hellcat. Apparently, she a rapper and uh, 23 years old. She acting like she was there in the 90s. So Hellcat was poking fun at the Hoover folks or whatever they call it is, some false flagging ass racially mixed group she refers to them as a white group white folks which they wasn't even all white they was mixed they just focused on the white bitch the most but check it out them crips right there that i just showed you that's your homies they they supposed to be real come on now that whole documentary was corny as fuck and i'm gonna put it like this to you the reason that whole documentary was so corny little rock arkansas was just new to the whole gang banging culture y'all didn't know shit back then feel me and you know, y'all just wanted to emulate what you hear is happening in our cities, feel me? In Chi-Town, Chicago, we've been banging since the 1920s. We said trends. And I've stated it many times. Chi-Town and California, the major leagues. Okay, whatever you see around in other states, in one way or another, coming from us in California. We said motherfucking trends. The whole gang banging culture and its roots comes back to my city, Chi-Town, Chicago. And look, I ain't dissing on all of Little Rock, man. Obviously, some of them motherfuckers in the documentary was real and about they shit. They was about the business. But if you want to see some real fans, some real folks, regardless of race, I'm talking Latino, I'm talking black, white, Arab, Asian, head to Chi-Town, Chicago, motherland, home of the true gangbanger. It don't matter what you is. If you're down for your nation, you're a brother regardless, feel me? And I don't know if it's just the way it came out of your mouth, but it seemed like you were poking fun of white people who bang or whatever. Let me tell you like this. As a proud Latino Slavic, some of the most down brothers for their hood, true, real motherfucking gunners, real bangers, were white, Arab, and Asian that I know. Okay? Little shorties, 11, 12 years old. Real gunners, man. That's why I tell these fools who be clowning on the internet, acting like they... They down for they hood. I ain't gonna mention names, but there's a few of them around in California acting like they posted up every day. Man, I know motherfucking 10, 11 year olds who put in more work than you, bro, on some real shit. And you talking about making another documentary? How about we make a documentary about Chi-Town Chicago, where it all started? 
Why make a documentary on motherfuckers that emulate? Go to the true trendsetter. Chi Town, Chicago. Ah, right, mode. Yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. I know I know you feel me, fam. That's what we lacking really. A Chi Town, Chicago old school documentary that goes back into the day when the alliances were formed back in 1978. Fans and folks. That's what we need, a real motherfucking documentary. But anyways, familiar, I just wanted to tune in, give my opinion, stay blessed and be safe. Ah, Mort, shot it down. And lastly, I just want to give one final message to any shorties, any youth, any kids who'll be watching and are contemplating about joining a gang. Do not do it. Listen to me. The lifestyle will bring you nothing but heartache and pain, addiction. You going downhill. You want to be going uphill. Be good to your parents. Get a job. Save your money. Become someone. Become successful in life. Don't become a failure. Let your family know you love them. Keep that close, tight-knit circle. Because at the end of the day, that's who's going to be there for you. God bless you and stay safe. Ah, right, more.